This is a tutorial for Expression Design 3 and how to define brushes. Right, got Expression Design 3 open in front of me here. Got a selection of heart designs. Uh, they're vector paths, so they can be resized. Right, just going to select one. Just gonna select that heart design there. At this point, you can quickly go and check that it's actually not a compound path. Because if, if it's a compound path, you won't be able to edit the individual parts of the uh, design. So obviously you want to release the compound path at that point. But, right, how to define them? Well, object, stroke, new stroke definition is the first step. So I'm just going to go into design there. And now you'll see around there, you'll see the actual box that defines a brush. So uh, within it we've actually got the path that I've selected outside. Now I can rotate it and there's the actual direction of the path. So I'm just going to, and at this point now you can actually go to edit, duplicate. So you, if you wish you can create multiple copies of the path. Um, and then you can recolor the path. You can rotate it, resize. So maybe you want to create a couple of slight small ones there. Duplicate. So that's that. At that point, I'm going to save it. So I'm just going to go to File, Close. Now I could use Save, but uh, that uh, is a slightly more complicated command. So I'm just going to use Close. Close. Now you can give it a name. At the moment, it's just no name. Not very helpful, unfortunately. But that's uh, that's Microsoft's uh, naming convention. So I'm going to call it. Um, test 1832. Now it will be stored in a file called general if you actually just go with the default. Now you can place it in any other of these other folders. You can create your own folders. Uh, the file that's actually saved is an SKS file format so uh, you can find it in the expression strokes uh, path afterwards if you wish and you can set a default width. I'm just going to click OK at this point. So now the path has been defined. You will see it in the properties over here. Now to actually use it, you have to go to the paintbrush and you can apply it now, like that. You can also apply it to uh, text and other paths as well. And you can just basically select it. I'm just going to select a quick path over here and then you will see it just used there. Now I'm just going to quickly show what I meant about the compound. So there's, and I'm going to of course now not find the compound path. That actually, there is a compound path. So uh, but I uh, oh, probably one like this. Just going to select that. Just going to pull that one out a bit. Right. Just going to use that one and arrange. No, compound parts release. So so I can release that and then I can actually edit the individual parts. Otherwise, you just can't edit them. So I mean, you just you can't recolor it. Anyway, I hope you found this tutorial of interest and come back for future ones. Thank you very much.